dear Aki Marathon organizer and juries of the committee, um, colleagues from all over the world, ladies and gentlemen, buonasera. Um, I'm Saki Takasu, um, representing Yuko Nagayama and Associates of Japan. Um, it's a very great honor and pleasure for me to represent for you today. This um, wonderful Kia Ryokan project on Yuko's behalf. I assure you that this project is worth coming to be a very last of three days long arc marathon and and yes, interesting and new kind of initiative, not merely um, renovating an old hotel, but it bridges the past and future in quite artful way, involving local community and helping community development. I hope you will enjoy. Okay. The Owajima city where embraces the Kia Ryokan is one of the oldest cities uh, in Ehime Prefecture in Shikoku region, located 8-15 kilometers west from Tokyo. Uojima city is surrounded on three sides by mountains and four sides by water. History of Uojima and Kia Ryokan. Please note uh, the word, word Ryokan means traditional Japanese hotel. This is an aero photograph of current Uojima. You see the Uwajima Castle here, in the very center of the city. Next slide shows the coastline of Uwajima around 1650, Edo period. The Uwajima Castle was built on the coastline, almost plunging into the sea. Uwajima was naturally, um, naturally, uh, Naturally breast to open the port with a deep water bay, allowing passage of large ships for that reason. A castle was built in the region, and thus the castle town was developed. In 1630s, the po population in Uwajima began to grow. Mountainous Uwajima has a narrow level ground, so Flat land was reclaimed from the sea in order to secure enough space for farmland and residential area. Okay. By around 1900, good part around the Uojima Castle was reclaimed into farmland. In the late 19th century, Japan opened the country to the world and the system of the government was changed. As a result, the castle lost their functions. In 1910, Uwajima Castle's moats was filled completely. The Kia Ryokan was built on the field moats and started its business in 1911. Here, all the coastline of 1900 is superposed on an aerial photograph of coast, coastline Uojima. Uh, this one. And we can see that more land has been reclaimed compared with the old coastline. Most of the reclaimed land is used to, for textile and shipbuilding um, industry. But it doesn't mean Uwajima was uh, well grown as expected after 1900. During the World War II, Kia Ryokan luckily survived. But the 70% of the city was destroyed by the war fire. The Kia Ryokan is in that context one of the few heritages able to tell us today, Uwajima's old townscape 
as a historical commercial city. Next. Let me explain the follow of this project. During the last 20 years, after the oil shock, oil shock 1973, the economic recession and failure of tourism policy of Uwo Jima led the Kialokan to closure of business in 1995. However, the things began to change with extension of trans-regional expressway and the city of Uwajima started a package of new tourism project. So fast. The Kia Ryokan was purchased in 2010 by Uwajima city and almost repaired it to the original appearance. Second. Kisaiya Uwajima, a private local company designated by the city as an official uh, administrator of Kia Ryokan. And third, okay, third. architect Yuko Nagayama was assigned to renovate the Kia Ryokan as a new kind of tra uh, traditional but experience-based Ryokan as an one of members of revitalization project. I say uh, a new kind of uh, new kind of hotel because Kia accommodates only one group of guests per day. Fourth, Kia Ryokan was designated as a registered tangible cultural properties on of Japan in 2013. Okay, now we are ready to see the Kia's architecture. Okay. This picture shows the townscape of Uwajima around the time of Kia Ryokan's foundation. We can see that there is a lot of low-rise uh, roof, low-rise houses with a uh, gable roof. And this is the Kia Ryokan at the time of its founding as well. The Kia Ryokan, situated in the center of merchant city, accommodated many cultural figures as well as merchant. Okay. Here you see the Kia Ryokan. You know how it was brought back to life, existing there for over the century. The Ryokan is already rich in stories about the town. So, I threw that I shouldn't just remake it or add something new. Contrary, I should subtract so that it shows a hidden aspect of the stories. Thus, I said subtraction as our main concept of design, the new Kia Ryokan. This is lobby of Kia Ryokan. Japanese architecture is generally spacious and continuity in horizontal direction. Before the renovation at the Kia Ryokan's lobby, I had a broad and horizontal vision, and I subtracted a vertical space from here, from there. This is a floor plan of a new Kia Ryokan. The three parts of the floor on the upper level. Above a lobby were subtracted and uh, replaced by clear acrylic board. The nearly created 7.5 meter height of cross section of our guests a new dramatic pers perspective from various angles. The daily light from the top of the two-story hall falls down on the floor. This space creates an extraordinary eye contact between the people upper and lower level of house. The acrylic board turned to be a mirror, reflecting surrounding as a water surface in nighttime. 
This is bathroom. The old tiles in the bathroom is again subtracted. I say painted black, uh, leaving original tiles uncovered in linear shapes on the wall and ceiling and floor. The combination of screen shade and light, which is set on the ceiling of the guest room in the up, uh, upper floor, mimics the oil lamp with paper shade used in Edo Ella. The soft light falls down the ground floor through the acrylic board. The city government restored the Kia Ryokan, preserving its original appearance. At a glance, it looks like an ordinary classic Ryokan. But in the nighttime, in the nighttime, the color changing soft light leaks out from the Ryokan, and the whole building looks like a kind of paper shade lantern. And hour by hour, the Ryokan alters its appearance as it is changing its facial expression. The presence of Kia Ryokan itself is a new action to the neighborhood and whole city of Uwajima. Okay, next. Let me introduce you the art project at Art Uwajima 2013, taking place the Kia Ryokan. It will show you how metamor uh, metaphor, the concept of subtraction, is into an art canvas of the Ryokan architecture. Okay, the map again. In this area, an international art festival, Setouchi Toyenale, it's held every three years. It started in 2010, and were known in, in Japan, in this area. In Setouchi, there are uh, innumerous islands and islets. From the beginning, we designed this Kia Ryoka not only as a mere hotel, but uh, an open place to community, however. As it turned out, the Kia Ryokan was being uh, used mainly as accommodation, so we took advantage of the opportunity to attract many people to coming to Setouchi region and planned the, this Adato Wajima 2013, linking up with the Setouchi Ato Biennale. A group of three female creators of the same generation, Yuko Nagayama, uh, architect, and Yoriko Hoshi, cartoon artist, and Tabaimo, artist. Okay. And they, they uh, carried out an installation art named Stain of Kia, Kia meaning Kia Ryokan, using a whole building of Kia Ryokan. I know it's um, not easy to get an image of the installation art without actually visiting the site, but I'd like to show you this movie on installation so that you can grasp and relieve the feeling of visitors. And this is entrance, and these projected images was created by Tabai Mo. She buffed up her inspiration and images from her reading of Hoshi's novel. The visitor also received the novel at the entrance and read it during their visit. Under the concept of subtraction, some part of floor uh, replaced Sorry, replaced by clear acrylic board. So the Ryokan has a wide space, not only the horizontal direction, but also to a vertical direction, which means we can see the projected image from uh, different angles, like this.
and this is courtyard. We researched the local vegetation and selected the plants from under bush to trees, which exist in Uwajima area in order to original landscape of Uwajima. And this artwork can be seen through the courtyard when you finish taking bath and rest on the veranda bench, experiencing uh, art in a very private moment is something Yuko Nagayama wished to realize in this installation. And this is Lama. It's Lama. Lama is wooden transom panels decorated with beautiful carving like open work. They are fixed between the guest room to sophisticatedly decorate the interior of Ryokan, allowing light and air to pass. In this installation, the story about the family starts from a shadow cast by Lamma. It's Kia Ryokan. And guest room wings with reflection of light by acrylic board. This room is covered by magical atmosphere. And when you sleep in this room, you feel like you are like a floating. And guests can sleep in any room with artwork during their stay. Futon, futon means Japanese bedding. This artwork, this one, artwork can be the most impressive one in this installation, created in the room where it can be seen from the entrance when you enter and look up. The guest can experience a life with art in an ordinary every life here. And in this video art, a pearl appears repeatedly. Pearls, these pearls, are specialty of Uwajima and play a key role in the novel of Yoriko Hoshi. And like this, you feel like there is the sliding doors or you are suddenly lead into the sea. Among eight artworks, only this video work was remained uh, as regular exhibition after the event and attracted visitors for one year. And next is study room. This is study. The key image of the Hoshi's story is projected on this two, um, study's window. I'd like to read only a part of novel of Hoshi Yoriko. Mada softly gave us a soft, floaty smile and said, you know, when I am in this room, sometimes I feel like I came here by myself. But when I come out from here to the corridor, I can see you guys through transparent floor or glaze light doors. And I wonder, who is this boy? And, and then I realized, like, oh, he is my son I gave birth to. And just a little while ago, I was in the courtyard and I saw small fish swimming in the pond. I don't know why, but it reminded me of you when you were a baby and I thinking, my son gave birth to, but so tiny, but now he has grown so much. Ah. Not finished. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Back to back to the presentation. Sorry. Okay, back to presentation. Let me talk. Okay. Five. Okay. Okay. 
Through the project of Kia Ryokan, I strongly felt that the ACT architecture doesn't contain itself merely in the period from designing completion, but it's a flow of many actions in the longer span of the time, including before and after the period. In this case, from 100 years ago when the Kia was founded to the future, that more art exhibition will take place, we think. And I thought about what is architecture linking our past and future? This project may not be big in size, but when you think in longer span, it has been unlimited possibility and expansion in terms of impact and influence. It give, gives and will keep giving to the neighborhood. And this project on the, the other side was a timely ecological project in terms of effectiveness and cost performance. It became a multidimensional project without required big financial cost, but, it's, but with minimum process of architecture. I will always be designing, keeping in mind the crucial role architecture has, not only in our time, but my act will be also bridging the past and future. Last but not least, I'd like to mention with heartfelt gratitude the Kia Ryokan and surrounded many projects in still going on. So thanks to many people and entities. Thank you very much. Finish.